All right, welcome back. Module seven, U Inc. Now in lesson seven, we're gonna talk about that key concept of independence versus dependence. Remember, at the end of the day, this is a pathway to financial independence. So we want to understand the concept of independence. First of all, there's a difference between freedom and independence. There is a distinction. I wanna talk about that distinction as we move on, okay? Independence is the factor state of being independent. Now that's a pretty silly definition, but that's what they define it as, okay? But it is a state of being and you're totally independent. Now freedom is the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Now I think if you look closely, you can see that there's a little bit of difference in there. Many people immediately equate freedom and independence, but it's not true. Independence is total freedom. Independence is beyond freedom exponential freedom. It is a th several levels above freedom, okay? So independence is the greatest state of being that you can ever have because when you are truly independent, you go where you want, you do what you want, you become who you want, you associate with who you want, you have all the things you want, whatever it is, you're totally independent. That's a magnificent position in life. So freedom has a lot to do with environment around you. It has to do with movement and activity. Those are somewhat of the limitations within freedom. Now, we live in the freest nation in the world. That's a wonderful thing. But even within that freedom, we have some limitations within that freedom. But some of that is security-based for others and making sure that everybody's safe and everybody's taken care of. But freedom, for the most part, has those kind of limitations on it. Now, independence is a totally separate situation. Independence is a choice. Independence is not something that happens to you. It's something you make happen for you. You become independent. You get a sense of independence. You rely on being independent. You're not reliant on anything else, anyone or anything else. You're not relying on the government. You're not relying on family and friends. You don't rely on anything other than your true being and, and you know that you can make something happen. All security that you have is developed by you. So you are comfortable because you created all the security you need around you from your own creativity. And here's the painful aspect of it. No one but you is accountable for it. At the end of the day, whatever happens, whatever the results are, you're going to look in the mirror and be totally accountable for it. But that's the beauty of independence. And that's the beauty of you being able to respond and try something different and to take accountability and then to change your thought, change your emotion, change your action, and change your result. Because you're totally independent. No one can tell you where to go, what to do, or who to be. That's a wonderful position. I can't, I can't expand that much more than telling you that that incorporates your lifestyle, your life experience, and it becomes a matter of financial independence. So you are totally independent in my, mind, body, and spirit. Your lifestyle, life experience, everything is developed around it, and you are now totally, truly financially independent. And that is where we want you to be, where we want you to go. That's where only 5% of society goes. We want to expand that. I'll see you in the next lesson.